from the power of you, Lord. Cause I desire to be near your love, oh my soul. And I bow, and I honor you with all of my heart. Harvest. Hear the voice of God acting on His Word, recognizing the assignment, venturing into your next dimension. Establish your purpose, sowing your gifts, talents, and resources. Testify. Harvest. I'm not tired. No. I'm not tired yet. Hey, I'm not tired yet. I told you I was going to find it. <laughs> no, I'm not tired yet. I may be sleepy, but I'm not tired. Hallelujah. Thank God for all of you who are on this wonderful morning. It's a Sunday morning, and what are you doing? We've got to go to church later on. No, we are up praying, seeking the face of God. Why? Because we're on our seven-day consecration, and it's the seventh day. Glory to God. And we are not tired yet. See, I'm confessing it. I'm telling you it. I'm telling my body that we're not tired yet, even though my body's saying, wait a minute, aren't we? Aren't we tired? No, we're not tired yet. Amen. Thank God for all of you who are on this wonderful morning. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. I thank God for my faithful. This is my grind crew right here, the grind crew that's up in the morning and saying, yo, pastor, you bugging the Sunday morning. We got church later on. It's supposed to be my rest day. I'm supposed to be chilling, but guess what? We're up praying. We're seeking the face of God. Amen. Because we're setting the tone for this year and we're living in our harvest. Did you get it yet? Is it in your spirit? Is it in your mind? Is it in your heart yet? Because if it's not, I'm going to keep drilling it until you grab it, until you take this concept and you absolutely run with it because we're going to manifest harvest in our lives. Why? Because we live harvest. We breathe harvest. It's a mindset. It's a thought pattern. Glory to God. And I thank all of you who are on and have been joining. And let me tell you something. You guys have been faithful. You've been faithful. You've been committed. Amen. Uh, you've been getting up and, and I, and I, and I want to applaud you on this seventh day. Amen. And I thank God for all of you for this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice in it. And I'm pumped. I'm primed. I'm ready to go. Glory. And let me tell you something. I, the devil was fighting me this morning. He said, now, don't you want to just, does it make sense for you to have prayer on Sunday when you're going to have church? And then my other side was saying, you know what? Let's stay committed. Let's finish. Let's not, we started the good work. Let's finish the good work. And that's why we're here. We're going to finish the good work. Amen. And I see all of you on here who have been faithful and committed. Amen. Have been here and we thank God for you. So today, the last word, right? The last word, the last word is testify. T for testify. Go back, go back and look at all of them. Amen. We're going to try to put them all together. Amen. So that you can see them, <clears throat> each word, what we talked about. We're going to put it together in a little video and uh, put it out so you guys can have it and, and, and commit it to memory. Amen. Because we are living in harvest. We're living in harvest. We're living a mindset of harvest. And today we're going to testify. Yesterday we sold our gifts, our talents and resources. Today it's about testifying. And guess what? With the thing about this harvest thing, when we go through the cycle, we'll go through it again. We'll just keep going through it again because we're living this mindset. Today we are testifying, right? And we understand testifying, testifying,
testifying basically is giving the testimony, is, is giving your testimony, what, what God has simply done for you. And it's power. In te- and I'm going to talk about this today in our message. I believe I have a powerful word. I'm going to talk about this today about what we say out of mouths and how we speak. Um, and we understand that the scripture that we're going to deal with this morning about testifying is, is the familiar passage of scripture is Revelation chapter 12 and 11. Um, and I'm going to read from the King James Version. And it's important that we testify. It's important. And I don't want to get in my message Uh, later on, but it's important that God is listening for what is coming out of our mouths. And I talked about that a little bit um, this week, but I'm going to really dig into it because I think moving forward, we've got to be in position to say the right things. Um, The scripture says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to death. They, they became, they overcame by the word of their testimony. So they testified. They testified about the goodness of the Lord. God is looking for us and looking for what is coming out of our mouths. And, in, and, and when we're done, that testimony is signifying what is the work of the Lord or what God has done in our lives. And it needs to be said. It needs to be told because how, why? That testimony will create more disciples. That testimony would exemplify the works of God in your life. People see God through you. Let me say that again. People see God through you. They hear God. They see the glory of God through your lifestyle. That's why it's so important that when God does something for us, that we begin to testify about what God does. The reason why Jesus' ministry spread so much is because after he would create a miracle, someone would go and tell. The blind man would go, went and told. The beggar went and told. The lame man went and told. They testified about what God has done. In order for us to spread, in order for us to grow, in order for people to see what is that God is still working in this time, we've got to testify. Some of you have some of the most amazing testimonies and you hold on to them. You don't tell people about the goodness of the Lord and what God has done. You have survived things that other people died over. You, you, you have made it through things that other people threw in the towel. And you have to testify about the goodness of the Lord because that's how people see God. They see God through us. So don't hold on to your testimony. Don't allow yourself to to not tell how the goodness of the Lord and the blessings that God has done for you. Amen. Tell your testimony. Testify about it. Let people know because it's going to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. We're getting ready to pray. This is our, 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 well, I think we're going to pray at 12, right? We have one more prayer. But I want to really hone in on the needs of, of, of you right now. And I pray that you would make your request known. It's important that when we when we um, fast and we pray, and we've, and we've been seeking God's face, and we've been tearing some things down in our lives, right? We've been uh, consecrating ourselves. Now this is the moment when we request, we make the request known to him. And I told you that you had that notebook. Many of you, I'm not sure if you're still keeping it but you have your notebook. I want you to write your requests in your notebook. We want to pray over those requests. Amen. We're going to, we're going to ask you to lay hands over those requests. Amen. And we're going to believe God for them. And we're going to work in faith and operate in faith. And that's one of the things that I want us to improve on is our level of faith. We want to talk about that today as well, is our level of faith. Many of us have been disappointed before, and now our level of faith has, has disseminated, but we want to raise that level of faith up. We're praying for Sister Michelle this morning. Amen. I want you to pray for Sister Michelle. I don't know her name, um, her last name, but I want us to pray for Sister Michelle, not our Sister Michelle Dawson. We always pray for Sister Michelle. That's, that's our woman of God. But we're praying for um, another Sister Michelle. I don't know the last name. Um, um, maybe you could put it in there, um, but we're going to pray for Sister Michelle. Um, she lost 
lost her um, sister-in-law um, tragically, and we want to keep her in prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. I thank you, Lord, for another day that you've made and we're rejoicing in. I thank you, Father, for all of us who are assembled together, these band of believers, your faithful followers, God, who have committed to you through prayer and fasting. God, we are here on this seventh day, and we're excited, God, because we feel like we finished. We finished strong, Lord, and we know that there were some, some rough times during the fast. There were some failures. There were some disappointments, God. There were some times we stumbled, Lord, but yet we finished, God. We're at the finish line right now, and I praise you because I believe, Lord, God, that something was started. I believe, God, that something was ignited in our spirit, that passion was renewed, God. I thank you that there's a desire, Lord, that we want more of you. God, I feel that today, Lord Jesus, that there are people on here today that just said, I want more of you. I want to be closer to you. I want to have a, a better relationship with you. I don't want to do things the way I've been doing things in in the past, how I, I fell off in 2021. I even hear people promising them, promising you, Lord, that this year is going to be different. I'm not going to fall off in the latter part of the year. I'm not, I'm going to stay consistent. I hear the prayers of the righteous saying, Lord, help me be consistent. I hear the prayers of the righteous saying, Lord, help me be committed, Father. We've made requests known unto you, Father. We set the ground and the ground is fertile. Now, God, through faith in what we believe, God, I'm no, I'm speaking into existence existence right now. The things that we ask for, God, will come into flourishing. We we thank you, Lord God, that we are now having the ability to withstand. You're getting, giving us the strength that we need, God, to start this year off, God. We thank you, Lord God, for the jump start that we have and the energy and the recharge that we're experiencing right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we're becoming skilled at fighting this spiritual warfare. We thank you, Lord God, that mastery is coming our way, Lord. We praise you, Lord God, that even we're going to be catapulted into the next level and the next dimension. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not going to remain on this level that we are, but God, we are going to pass the test. Yes, we are. We're in the passing. We're going to pass this test, God. We're not going to repeat the same grade again. We're not going to allow the same things that have happened to us in 2021 and 2020 to allow those things to be the things that are going to keep us back. God. No, we're going to progress. We're going to move forward. We're going to push forward, God. We're going to press toward your mark, God. We're going to continue to elevate in you, God. We're going to continue to expand the knowledge in you, Lord. We're going to continue to chase after your glory because our heart, God, belongs to you. Our mind, God, belongs to you. Our spirit, God, belongs to you. Our body, God, belongs to you. And we surrender all today, God. We sing that song, I surrender all. Hallelujah. We sing that song this morning. I surrender all. There are people here today, God, that lift their hands and they say, here I am, God. Hallelujah. I'm lifting my hands and letting you know I'm giving you a complete yes. I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey when the spirit speaks to me. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, for saying yes this morning. I thank you, Lord God, that there's a yes that's screaming from my spirit, God. I thank you, Lord God, that submission is happening in my life, that I'm submitting to you, Lord, and I'm resisting the devil. And God, he is fleeing from me right now, and I'm drawing nigh unto you, and I'm washing my hands double-minded. I will not be double-minded any longer. I won't be unstable in all my ways any longer. But Lord, we will be committed to you. We're not going to be lukewarm any longer, God, but we choose to be hot for you, Lord. We choose, God, to be on fire for you. We choose, God, that this is our posture. This is our position. It's not temporary, God. This is a permanent change. Hallelujah. I believe, God, that this is going to stick. Huh? Is there anybody else that believes that what you've done in this fast, hallelujah, this is going to stick. Thank you, Lord God. This is not going to be another time, Holy Ghost, where it's going to be a fad. No, God, this right here is going to stick with us glory to God. And I praise you, Lord Jesus, that we're going to be consistent. I'm speaking that into existence, that we will be consistent, God, that we will be faithful, Lord God, that we will be committed, Father, that we will be consistent, that we will be faithful, and we will be committed in the name of Jesus, that God, we will not allow things to derail us, Lord. We will not allow the distractions, come, God, to come and take us off our track. But Lord, this will be a year of focus, God. This will be a 
year that we're locked in. This will be a year that we're committed to your word and to your way. This will be a year, God, that we even get better than we were yes, last year. This will be a year, God, that we'll see the breakthrough happen. This will be the year, God, that we see the manifestation of your glory. This will be the year, God, where we reap the harvest, Lord. This will be the year that things that were laid up for us, God, we're going to start to see them unveiled. This will be the year, God, that we will be in, in the black and not in the red. This will be the year, God, that we'll be in the positive and not the negative. This will be the year, God, that my mind is not going to be where it was before, but my mind is shifting. This is going to be the year that the husbands are going to be saved. This is going to be the year that sons are going to be delivered. This is going to be the year that, that our daughters are going to be healed. This is going to be the year that I'm no longer going to allow the emotional baggage to, to be with me. I put the baggage and I left it back when I put it out in the trash. Lord, we're not allowing it any longer to have that emotional baggage, but God, I'm not living with that baggage anymore. I'm not living with that backpack anymore. In the name of Jesus, I have taken off the backpack, God, and I've set it out in the trash. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, God, that we're, we're, we're laying aside every weight, hallelujah, and every sin that has easily beset us in the past. And Lord God, we're running, hallelujah. We're running. Hallelujah. We're running God like Forrest Gump. Lord, we're running. Hallelujah. We're running God. We're not going to stop Jesus. We're just going to keep running. Yes, we are. We're just going to keep running father in the name of Jesus. We're going to keep the pace. Hallelujah. Because we are running a marathon. Yes, we are. We're going to keep the pace. Somebody say, keep the pace. Hallelujah. Keep the pace. Glory to God. We started off strong God. And now it's time to pace ourselves. We started off God and we got to lead now. Now it's time Lord. Lord, to be steady. Hallelujah. Now it's time to be consistent. We've got to take, we got to be on our pace right now. We got to remember how to breathe. We got to pump our arms. And even though we may get tired, even though there's times we're feeling dehydrated, God will fill up on the way in the name of Jesus. But God will stay on the course. We'll stay on the course this morning. We'll stay on the course, God, this year. We'll stay on the course, Lord, and we'll stay focused, God. We'll stay at it. We'll stay at it, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, and we'll keep going on like a like a train, God. We'll keep going on, God, like a train, Father. We're going to stay on track in the name of Jesus. And even the things that will come to try to derail us, God, we thank you, Lord God, that we're going to navigate through them. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for that mastery and art to be able to navigate and maneuver in the midst of the obstacles. We thank you, Lord God, that we'll be able to jump through them and get through them, Lord, that they will not be the thing that will keep us distracted and off track. No, God, we will continue, Lord. On You've spoken to us, God. You've told us some things, God. You reminded us of, of some things, God. You gave us instructions, God. You gave us directions, Lord, and we praise you for them. We praise you for those directions. We thank you for those instructions. We thank you, God, for the ability and the power to perform those things. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not going backwards. No, sir. We're moving forward, God. We thank Thank you, God, that we're not going to relapse. <clears throat> We thank you, God, that we're not going to relapse. We thank you, God, that we're not going to be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. We thank you, Lord God, that the cycle is broken and destroyed. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not going on the merry-go-round any longer. We're not attending the Ferris wheel or the hamster wheel. We're not going to keep going round and around and around. The devil is a liar. We're getting off the treadmill, God. We're not going to just be moving, hallelujah, in place. No, God, we're moving moving forward, Lord. We're moving forward with vigor and diligence right now. We're moving forward with tenacity and courage now, God. We're moving forward in strength, Lord God. We're moving forward in you, God. We thank you, Father, that you're giving us the power and the strength to move forward. We thank you, Lord God, that we're going to be able to defeat the giants in our lives. We thank you, Lord God, that we're going to have the spirit of David and we're getting ready to confess and speak that we're going to kill the devil. 
devil. Hallelujah. We got so much courage. We've got so much strength. We're letting the devil know we're getting ready to cut your head off. Hallelujah. We're telling you right now, we're coming for you. We're going to be on offense now. We're going to be offense, God. We're going to be the aggress- the aggressor, God, and we're going to apply pressure. Yes, we are. How are we going to do that? We're going to apply pressure in the word. We're going to apply pressure in prayer. We're going to apply pressure in praise. We're not going to give up. We're not going to sit back any longer and let the devil be and let, and let him beat up on us. And we're his punching bag. We're no longer going to be his punching bag. We're not going to let people just punch all on us spiritually uh, 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 with their words. The devil is a liar. We're going to apply the pressure on the enemy. We're moving forward on the enemy. We're going to be the one to hit first. We're going to be the one God to strike first. We're not going to let him, hallelujah, do what he wants to do. I'm applying the pressure. I'm applying the pressure. I'm applying the pressure through praise, through prayer. I'm applying the pressure. I'm letting him know that he is defeated. I'm taking my authority. Somebody needs to step into their authority. Somebody needs to stop saying if uh, or maybe. No, the devil is a liar. When we've got to use our command words, when it will happen. Hallelujah. When I walk in there, when I go in there. Hallelujah. I'm not saying if I'm not saying maybe. Hallelujah. I'm not saying might. The devil is a liar. I'm speaking command words. I'm speaking the words that say I have full confidence in the God I serve. And God, I know that you will do what you said you would do because your word will not come back void. My job, God, hallelujah, is to line my happy self up. My job, God, is to put myself in the position and the right posture, Holy Spirit. My job, God, is to pray and fast and seek your face. My job, God, is to read your word and speak your word into existence. That's my job, God. That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to let you handle the rest. But my faith, hallelujah, my faith is going to be pleasing to you. Our faith, Lord, is going to be pleasing to you. Our faith, God, this year is going to be pleasing to you. I'm walking in my healing. Even though I woke up this morning and you have ailments, hallelujah, and you may have a headache, glory to God, the migraine you've been dealing with and praying over, it still hasn't gone away. I'm going to say again, I'm healed from the migraine. I'm going to say again, I'm healed from diabetes. I'm going to say again, I'm healed from blood pressure, high blood pressure. I'm going to say again, I'm healed from cancer. I'm going to say again, I'm healed from lupus. Even people might say, oh, that can't happen. We just manage. I'm telling you, I'm healed from it. Glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm speaking it right now. I'm confessing it right now. I'm believing it right now in the name of Jesus. I pray now, God, for your people of God. I pray for Sister Dawn Dawn, God. I pray now, God, that you would give her the power and the strength and the energy to move forward. I pray now, God, that everything that she touched, Holy Spirit, hallelujah, would be would be blessed now. And Lord God, that she was not will not go back, Lord, that there will not, hallelujah, she will not go back there emotionally, but she will move forward, God, in faith. And Lord, let her know that the weapons of a warfare are not carnal. I pray for evangelist Melissa right now, God, touch her home in the name of Jesus. No distractions. We bind and rebuke every distraction. This is the year right now, God. This is the year. Everything has been working up to this year and God manifestation in her life. I'm praying for Minister Dawson right now. God, give him the faith that we need. Hallelujah. Faith like no other, God. Help his unbelief, God. Let him walk in faith, God. That's what you want, Lord. You want him to walk in faith, God. That's what you want. You want to show him how you've got his back even more. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for faith this year. I thank you, God, that you give him a renewed faith in the name of Jesus. We pray now, God, Holy Spirit, for Niger, God. We see, God, her commitment to you. Now, God, we take a next step in you, Lord. We pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that you would manifest, hallelujah, you would manifest your power and your glory. I thank you, God, for the encounter that she's going to have, even in our home, Spirit of the living God, where you're going to visit her in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the instructions and that direction right now, and God, her confidence, glory to God. We praise you, Lord God, hallelujah, that she will believe like no other. We pray for we pray for Sister Kim Bass right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for touching her from the crown of her head to the 
soles of her feet. Healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Even the things that she has said to you, God, even the commitments that she has said to you, God, we thank you, Lord God. This year will be a year of consistency and committed uh, commitment. God, I thank you. Hallelujah for the man of God. You've Pastor Anthony. Touch him right now, God, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet, God. We pray now for the manifestation of blessings this year, God. I'm praying for the blessings this year, God. I'm praying for the manifestation. Give him something this year, God, in the name of Jesus. We're looking for it, God, in the name. I thank you, God, what's getting ready to happen, God. You're going to show him the evidence of his commitment, the evidence. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to see the fruit of it. That's what it is in the name of Jesus. We're praying now, God, hallelujah, for Brother Aaron, God. We ask you, God, that you would touch his body. Lord, the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Man of God, the devil can't even touch your body. He thinks he can. He wants to. He wants to. Hallelujah. He's trying to, but God said no. Hallelujah. Now step up and use the authority that, hallelujah, that God has given unto you because there's a testimony that's coming out of this. God said, speak life. Speak life. I'm praying for Ruth right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Lord God, for a renewing. God, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for renewing. Touch our heart right now. Lord, even the secret request, God, I'm praying the thing she's been praying for, Lord. I'm praying, God, that you would intervene and intercede. Holy Ghost, let her know that you hear her prayers. Holy Spirit, I praise you right now, God, for life and that more abundantly. Heal God and set free in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for the prayer requests. I thank you, God, for her interceding for her family. God, do it right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for Evangelist Brickhouse right now. We ask you, God, that you would continue to do the work. We pray for Minister Brickhouse, God. We thank you, Lord God, for they are ambassadors for you in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I thank you, Lord, for you renewing her mind. God, I thank you for keeping her in the, as she deals with this Job experience. Hallelujah. As she goes through a Job-like experience, Father, where she's been righteous, God. Yes, sir. She's been holy, Lord God. Yes, sir. She's been an example, Father. Her husband has been an example, God, and she's experienced a Job, but yet, God, she did what Job said. She would bless you. Hallelujah. She would continue to bless you, Father God, and that's what she did. She didn't waver, God. She didn't waver. She continued to bless her. Now, God, heal in the name of Jesus. Heal and replenish right now, God. We pray for Donna right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for the transition that's happening in her life. I thank you, Lord God, for a morphing. Hallelujah. I thank you for the evolution, Lord. And as she leaves those things behind in 2021, I thank you, Lord God. Elevation is coming. We're praying now, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. We're blessing you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise your heart. But Sister Tonya, hallelujah. Holy Ghost, I thank you. I'm telling you now, God, the devil is defeated. I'm telling you now, God, that giant, the spiritual giant that's on the inside of her. Holy Ghost, I'm telling you now, woman of God, that the Lord said, hallelujah, to claim your house. The Lord said to speak in your house. The Lord said to plead the blood of Jesus in your house. The Lord said, don't you fight another fight, hallelujah, in the natural. The Lord said, fight it in the spirit. The Lord said, bind and rebuke it now. The Lord said, hallelujah, he's giving you power to trample over the serpent. Plead the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. I thank you for the power and the spiritual awakening that's happening in her life. Holy Ghost, we pray for Tracy, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for the revival starting in her spirit. I thank you, Lord God, for the revival starting in the, God said, restoration. God said, I'm restoring the years, Holy Ghost. God said, I'm restoring the years. Hallelujah. The Lord said, I'm restoring the years. And God said, hallelujah, there's a new Tracy being birthed. Ha, ta. Yes, it is. God said, there's a new Tracy being birthed. This is your transformation. I hear the song. I'm coming now. God said you're coming out this year in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Angelise, I'm praying for Angelise this morning. Holy Ghost, I'm thanking you, God. I'm praising you and I hear the word recover all in the name of Jesus. I hear you lost some things. Hallelujah. But God said you're getting ready to recover all. God said I'm healing you emotionally. There's some hits that you took. Hallelujah. That are still lingering. But God said the healing power of God. God said it's time now to go to the next 
next level. It's time now to launch into the deep. God said the next level, Holy Spirit. I see plans. I see ideas. I see things that you want to put in place. God said, move now. Hallelujah. Angela, we thank you, Lord. We're not going back. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. We're not going back, but we're moving forward. We're not going back, but we're moving forward. We're not going back, but we're moving forward. Roxanne, I hear the same thing. We're not going back. We're moving forward. There will not be backtracking. There will not be a relapse. There will not be, hallelujah, a visit back there. The devil is a liar. We're moving forward in our healing. We're moving forward in our word. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm praying for Tamara right now, God. I'm seeing a financial blessing and a miracle coming her way. I'm thanking you, God, for provision right now. I'm thanking you, Lord, for the transformation, Holy Spirit, of what you're going to do. I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to bless her, even the promotion. Give it to her now. Diane Hardy, God, I'm praying, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, I thank you for restoration. Glory, I thank you for healing, God. I thank you for your anointing being upon her, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, the distractions are being ceased in the name of Sister Evangelist Makiba. Holy Spirit, we thank you, God. Holy Spirit, we thank you, God. We're not, hallelujah, glory to God. We thank you, Lord God, that we didn't lose any steps, God. Hallelujah. I see a shift, woman of God. I see a shift, hallelujah, where you feel, ha, tubbo shot. It almost seems like you didn't go anywhere, but there's a lateral movement. The lateral movement that was made, hallelujah, because you shift your mind. The lateral movement that was made is putting you right where you need to be. That lateral movement doesn't mean you were stagnated. It just meant you had to shift over to another position. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God said, be flexible. Hear what he has to say. God said he has a plan for you. That's why the lateral movement needed to take place because he needs you to be flexible. In the name of, I'm praying for Sister Allen right now, God. Do a work in her in the name of Jesus. This year is a year of confidence. This year is a year of stepping in to the gifting and the calling. This year is a year of assurance and affirmation. This year is a year that I'm no longer going to believe. You're no longer going to believe. Hallelujah. The narrative. You are going to write your own narrative by what you say out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I'm praying for Marshala right now, God. I thank you, Lord God, that even the desires of our heart will be met, God. I thank you, Lord God, that the sacrifice that she has made, Holy Spirit, the sacrifice that she has been making, God, no, no one knows, even knows the magnitude of the sacrifice that she's been making, God. I thank you, Lord God, that it's going to open up for her. The blessings of the Lord are going to open up for her. I thank you that the faithfulness, and God said, yield to the instructions. God said, directions and instructions from him is important. Glory to God. We pray for Brother David Peen to this morning. I thank you, Lord God, for the man of God. I thank you, Lord God, that we will not go back. I keep hearing that thing. We're not going back. We're going forward. Hallelujah. The Lord said that even when you stumbled, the fact that you, you remain steadfast, even when you stumbled, even when you felt like you fell off a little bit, God said what he loved was that you got back on. Now there will not be any fall-offs. You made up in your mind. You said, I'm committed and I'm focused. I'm going to see this thing through in the name of Jesus. Now give God some glory and give him some praise right where you are. Hallelujah. We praise God for everyone on here. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise the Lord for everyone on here. We thank God for his precious Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Amen. God is doing a work in his people. I need you to praise him on this Sunday. I need you to lift your voice and I need you to praise him on this Sunday. I need you to let him know that you are appreciative of him doing what he's doing. I need you to let him know that you love him. Hallelujah. In the name. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm not tired yet. I'm not tired yet. I'm not tired yet. Hallelujah. We thank God for all of you. Now, listen, listen, we're coming back. Uh oh, yeah. Coming back. 12 o'clock. Yeah. Come back 12 o'clock. And then, um, let me see. Let me see. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, we're going to come back 12 o'clock. I think we'll come back 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock for our, for our midday fuel for 15 minutes. We're going to pray. 
And then we're going to have a word. Now listen. Now listen to me. Listen to me. I want everybody to be here at 3 o'clock p.m. online. And then I want you, listen, hear me. I want you to prepare a seed. I want you to prepare a seed. We can't get all this from God. It doesn't work that way. We can't give all this to God and not prepare a seed. I want you to prepare a seed. I want you to pray on it. I want you to pray on what the Lord wants you to get. This is up to you. It's based on what you believe and what you have in your in your storage. And I want you to prepare a seed. I want you to sow this seed this afternoon. Amen. And I'm praying that you would allow the faith. I want you, I want you to remember. I want you to remember the principles of sowing, right? I want you to understand that. But I want you to give from your heart. I want you to give from what you got out of this fast. And I want you to sow this afternoon. I want everybody to prepare a seed. Let, it, let them know. Let them know. All your friends who you've said, hey, listen, prepare a seed. I want you to get excited about that because that seed is connected. Everything goes together. The obedience. Remember I told you about the car? It all works together. You need it all. Right? And we're putting together this engine. We're putting together this car. And I want you to sow a seed. I want you to sow. I'm telling you, some of you, you're, some of you, some of you, some of you are already doing it, but some of you, you're just a seed away. Your, your, your consistency in giving is, is, is going to be the, the last link for you. It's the, it's the, cause I'm saying, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you, Lord. I'm trusting you with my resource. I'm trusting. It's not even, you gave it to me. I'm giving it back to you. All right. All right, we're out of here. Listen, yesterday's gone. What you did and did not do is over with. Amen. Tomorrow's not promised. Today is a great day. It's the last day. <laughs> we made it. All right. Let's stay focused. Let's stay committed. Worship the Lord. We should have crazy church, even though it's online. Oh, yeah, by the way, it's online t- today. So spread the word. Let everybody know service is online. No in-person service. But we are going to be back. Listen, hook or crook, I'm going to be in the sanctuary. If I'm in there with my family and that's it, I'm going to be in the sanctuary and I'm going to have church in the sanctuary with a mask on and our hands uh, sanitized. Yes, I am. You better believe it. I sure am. Glory to God. I'm going to be there, right there, separated, away, distance. We're going to have some church. All right, I love you. I see you at 12 and then 3 o'clock. Don't forget, be there at 3 o'clock. Be blessed. Harvest. Hear the voice of God. Acting on his word. Recognizing the assignment. Venturing into your next dimension. Establish your purpose. Sowing your gifts, talents, and resources. Testify.